Okay, so the last talk in this session is on secret sharing schemes for very dense graphs by Amos Beimel, Oyal Faraz, and Yuval Mintz. The talk has been given by Oyal. Okay, so uh, I'm Oyal Faraz, and I will present this short work with Amos Beimel and Yuval Mintz on secret sharing schemes for very dense graphs. Uh, first, I will give an introduction to secret sharing. Then I will give an introduction to graph secret sharing. And finally, I will present our results. So a secret sharing scheme is a method to protect a secret. And the way to protect a secret is the following. The one that holds a secret, which is called the dealer of the scheme, generates some pieces of information from the secret that are called shares. And then the dealer sends privately one share to each participant. These shares are generated in such a way that some subsets of participants can recover the secret. These subsets are called authorized. And some other subsets cannot obtain any information about the secret. These subsets are called forbidden. In any scheme, we define the access structure as a family of authorized subsets. The first secret sharing schemes were presented by Shamir, Blackley, and later, Ito Saito and Nishizeki presented a way to construct secret sharing schemes for every access structure. The schemes we consider in this work are unconditionally secure and are perfect, which means that the subsets not in the access structure are forbidden. That is, subsets not in the access structure cannot obtain any information about the secret. So secret sharing is a cryptographic primitive that has many applications as for instance, multi-party computation, threshold cryptography, access control, attribute-based encryption, oblivious transfer. But for using secret sharing for these applications, we need of efficient schemes. And in particular, shares have to be small. In this work, in order to measure the efficiency of the schemes, we use the total, the total share size of a scheme, which is the sum of the size of the shares divided by the size of the secret. So we know that there exist efficient schemes for certain access structures. For instance, for threshold access structures on n participants, Shamir and Blackley presented the schemes with total share size n, where n is the number of participants. And we know that for every secret sharing scheme, n is the best possible total share size. So it's the lowest total share size for a secret sharing scheme. Therefore, the schemes with total share size n are called ideal. But not every access structure admits an ideal scheme, and in general it's not known which is the most efficient scheme for an access structure. There are some methods to construct the schemes for every access structure. For instance, the ones presented by Benalo and Lechter, Simon Zetal, Brickell, Kashmir and Victorson, but these methods in general are not efficient. Are not efficient because for most access structures, the total share size of the schemes constructed by these methods is two to the big O n. After these constructions, we have that in general, the best upper bound on the total share size of the best scheme for an access structure is two to the big O n. We have also some lower bounds so Sirmas proved that there's a family of access structures for which the total share size of any scheme is big omega of n squared divided by log n. And this is the best known lower bound, so it's the highest lower bound, for sharing a secret with respect to an access structure. And so these are the best upper and best lower bounds on the total share size for sharing a secret for an access structure and so there's a huge gap between upper and lower bounds. And one of the main open problems in secret sharing is to bridge this gap. In fact, the main motivation of our work was to bridge this gap. And in particular, we wanted, we wanted also to study this open problem. That is, which access structures are hard? Which means, which access structures require large shares to be realized? We have studied these problems for graph access structures, and we have found uh, new upper and lower bounds on the total share size, and we have extended 
uh, the techniques for finding upper bounds to homogeneous access structures and to the general case. So now I will talk about graph secret sharing. So an access structure is a graph access structure if the minimal authorized subsets are of size two. In this case, uh, the access structure defines a graph in which the participants are the vertices of the graph and the edges are the minimal authorized subsets. Therefore, given this graph, a set is authorized if it contains an edge, for instance, a set one, two, and a set is forbidden if it does not contain any edge, for instance, a set one, five, six. A graph secret sharing scheme is a scheme with graph access structure. So in a graph secret sharing scheme, all minimal authorized subsets are of size two. It is a simple case, but it, it is also interesting, and it has been studied in many previous works. And in some of them, it has been the first step for obtaining more general results. Every graph admits a very simple construction that works as follows. So given a graph, we can uh, share the secret independently for every edge in the graph. For instance, this graph has four edges, and so we should uh, share the secret for every edge, and so for the edge one four, we should pick a random an, a number and set it to participant one, and then send to participant four the secret plus the random number. And we can do the same for every edge. And in this way, we, we obtain a scheme that realize these graphs, and the total share size of this scheme is two times the number of edges. There are some special graphs that admit ideal schemes, and some of them has been used in our works. So a click is a graph in which every pair of vertices is an edge, and observe that a click defines a threshold access structure of threshold two. Therefore, it can be realized by the Shamir secret sharing scheme. Also, complete bipartite graphs admit ideal schemes and stars that are a particular case of uh, complete bipartite graphs also admit ideal schemes. We have some results. There are some results on the, tot on the total share size for graph access structures. The total share size of the best scheme realizing a graph access structure is upper bounded by big O of M because of the trivial construction I presented before. But also, it's upper bounded by big O of N squared divided by log N. This derives from works of Bublitz, Blundo et al., Erdos, and Piver. And we have also some lower bounds. It's known that there exists a family of access structures for which the total share size of the scheme realizing them is big omega of n log n. This derives from works by Van Dijk, Blundotal, and Sirmas. And also, we know that there exists a family of access structures for which the total share size of the linear schemes realizing them is big omega of n to the three over two. This derives from a work of Bemel, Gall, and Patterson. So our main motivation was to bridge the gap between upper and lower bounds and the total share size for graph access structures. And so we want to look for efficient construction for graphs. In this way, we can improve the uh, upper bounds on the total share size. And we want also to look for hard graphs. Um, since the total share size of uh, of the schemes uh, realizing a graph are up around it by big O of n, on n squared divided by log n, we try to solve the following question. Is there any graph with total share size big omega of n squared divided by poly log n? Since every graph admits a scheme with total share size two times the number of edges, in a hard graph, the number of edges has to be big. Therefore, we study very dense graphs that are graphs in, win, in which n choose two min, that have n choose two minus l edges with l small. Therefore, we ask ourselves if is there any very dense graph with total share size big omega of n squared divided by poly log n. Now I will present our results. Our main result is the following theorem. 
If a graph has n choose 2 minus n to the 1 plus beta edges for some beta between 0 and 1, then it admits a scheme with total share size deco of n to the 5 over 4 plus 3 beta over 4 log n. Since the best total share size of a secret sharing scheme is n, we can look at this bound as n times n to the 1 over 4 plus 3 beta over 4 log n. In this, in this work, we do not take into account the logarithm factors, and so we will use the Bico tilde notation, and we will say that the um, total share size is Bico tilde of n to the 5 over 4 plus 3 bit over 4. So there are some direct consequences of this um, theorem. We asked ourselves if there was a very dense graph with total share size big omega of n squared divided by polylog n. So after this theorem, the answer is no. Therefore, in a hard graph, both the number of edges and n choose 2 minus the number of edges must be big. For obtaining this result, we use coverings of graphs by easy graphs, that is graphs that are easy to realize, as clicks, bipartite graphs, and stars. We use the probabilistic method and colorings of graphs. So how we use coverings for uh, constructing secret sharing schemes. So given a graph G, we cover it by easy graphs. That is, in, part in this case, we consider graphs that admit ideal schemes as clicks, complete bipartite graphs, and stars. So given a graph, we obtain a covering. In this case, the covering is made by two clicks. It is a covering because every edge in this graph is in one of these two uh, graphs, and every edge in this graph and in this graph are in G. Therefore, this is a covering of G. And once we have the covering, the scheme for G consists on sharing the secret independently for every piece of the covering. So we should uh, share the secret independently for the two clicks. In this way, we look for a small coverings in order to obtain efficient schemes. And we have found a new method to obtain um, small coverings for very dense graphs. And the method is the following. So we describe the graph G as a click minus the excluded graph G prime. So given G, this is the graph, we describe, a, the, we describe it as a click minus the excluded graph G prime. Observe that uh, an edge is in G prime if and only if it is not in G. Therefore, once we have the excluded graph, we, uh, we notice that each coloring of the excluded graph G prime used to subgraft of G. That is, if we have a coloring of G prime, observe that um, if two vertices have the same color, it means that in the excluded graph, there's no any edge between these two vertices. And so it means that in the original graph, there's a vertice, there's an edge between them. Therefore, every click between vertices of the same color will be a subgraph of G. So if we take many co random colorings of the excluded graph G prime, we end with a covering of G. So now we will present some corollaries of the main result. So if a graph has n choose 2 minus 1 plus beta edges for some beta smaller than 1 third, then the graph admits a scheme with total share size small o of n to the 3 over 2. We also have uh, another corollary for um, graphs with um, many edges. So if a graph has n choose 2 minus l edges and l is smaller than uh, n over 2, then it admits a scheme with total share size n plus b co of l to the 5 over 4. Moreover, if l is, a sm is of a smaller order than n to the 4 over 5, then the graph admits a scheme with total share size n plus small o of n. We have also considered a more general question, which is deleting minimal authorized subsets from an access structure. And we study first this problem for graphs. So let G be a graph and let sigma be a scheme for the graph with total share size R. 
we know that if we add L edges to the graph G by using the trivial construction uh, we saw before, we can construct a scheme for the new graph with total share size R plus 2L, where L is the number of edges added. But what happens if we delete edges from G? So in general, it is not known. And we have obtained this result. If we delete L edges from G, the new graph, uh, so if we delete L edges from G, which is a, a graph that admits a scheme with total share size R, the new graph admits a scheme with total share size big O tilde of square root of L times N times R, if L is bigger than R over N, and R plus two times L times N, if L is a smaller or equal than R over N. There's a direct consequence of this theorem that is the following. If G admits an efficient scheme, then the graphs that are close to G are not hard. That is, if G admits an efficient scheme and we delete or we add some edges to G, the, the, the resulting graph will also admit an efficient scheme. We have extended these techniques uh, to homogeneous access structures that are access structures in which all minimal authorized subsets are of the same size and to general access structures. And we have provided new techniques and constructions and we have given answers to the following problems. That is, deleting minimal authorized subsets in a threshold access structure and deleting minimal authorized subsets in any access structure. We have uh, obtained also lower bounds on the total share size. All the previous results were upper bounds on the total share size. So for every L between two and N, there exists a family of graphs with N choose two minus L edges whose schemes have total share size at least N times N plus L. This should be compared with the previous result I showed in that for these graphs, there exists a scheme with total share size N plus big O of L to the five over four. And we have obtained also this result that for every beta between zero and one, there exists a family of graphs with N choose two minus N to the one plus beta edges, whose schemes have at least uh, big omega of beta N log N. And that there's a family of graphs with N choose two minus N to the one plus beta edges, whose linear schemes have at least a big omega of n to the one plus beta half. This should be compared with the main result of this work that says that for these graphs, there exists a scheme with total share size big omega of n to the one plus beta half times n to the one over four plus beta over four. Hence, uh, if beta increases both the, um, both the lower bound and the upper bound increases. And uh, so for very dense graphs, we have reduced the distance between upper and lower bounds on the total share size. So uh, this is the last slide. So in this work, we have studied secret sharing schemes for very dense graphs. We provide new upper and lower bounds on the total share size for the scheme realizi realizing these graphs. We answer to the following question. Does exist any hard very dense graph? The answer is no. We provide new techniques for the construction of secret sharing schemes and we extend them to homogeneous and general access structures. And the open directions after this work are to find hard graphs, to search new techniques for finding lower bounds on the total share size, and to bridge the gap between upper and lower bounds on the total share size. That's it. Okay, we